Indian pharmaceutical sales grew at the fastest pace in two and a half years in November. What's driving growth? And which are the companies that are contributing the most to this growth? Somit Sarkar is standing by with some of these answers. Morning, Somit. What is the data that we've analyzed here? Good morning, Neeraj. So I'll start off with the exact number that has been coming. That is 14.5% growth reported uh, that we have seen in the domestic pharma sales compared to last year to close to. The total sales has come in at close to 12,600 crore rupees. Now, this is the best growth number reported by the domestic pharma companies in the last 32 months and it is the fastest number growth number that domestic pharma sales has seen now this growth was led by three factors volume price and new product growth now product pricing improved by nearly 5.7 percent compared to last year volume growth was 5.9 percent compared to last year which is the highest in the last 17 months while the new product growth stood at close to three percent which was the highest in the last 16 months now this is a good sign of revival According to AIOCD, AWACS, a pharmaceutical market research firm which has collated this data. So a strong good revival seen in pharma sales in the month of November. Now some of the key highlights from that report. Now acute segment which uh, accounts for nearly 47% of India pharma market grew nearly in 8.9% compared to last year. Chronic segment which accounts for nearly 33% of the Indian pharma market grew 11.7% while the subchronic segment which accounts for the remaining 20% grew nearly 9 percent now 80 percent of the top 50 companies uh, that uh, has have seen a double digit growth rate with 18 companies reporting a growth rate of more than 20 percent plus in the month of november and among the top 50 companies 48 companies have managed to report a positive growth in the month of november now if you see the Indian companies, that is the Indian pharma companies, now they have reported a growth of nearly 15.1%, while the multi multinational pharma companies have reported a growth of around 12.4% compared to last year. And if you see company-wise data, uh, in the top 10 growth, uh, in the top 10 growth for Sun Pharma, Abbott, uh, Zydus, Lupin, Mankind, Alchem Laboratories, Torrent Pharma, Intas was in double digit, while for Sipla and GSK Pharma, it was in single digit compared to last year. And among the top 10, Sun Pharma grew at an industry day, that is 14.5% while McLeod's reported the highest growth followed by Mankind and Torrent Pharma. Among the next to uh, top 10 companies, Aristo reported a highest growth uh, uh, followed by Dr. Reddy's and MQ as you can see in the list. And among the top, uh, and among the top ma multinational companies, if you see the growth rate was in the range of around 6.7% to 52.3%.